In this video, you will hear a mysterious theory about the Skibidi Wardens we saw in episode 60. Who they are, where they came from, and what their purpose is, you'll find out right now. Let's start with a little backstory. As we remember, G-Man failed his mission and also disgracefully fled the battlefield when he saw that he had lost the Speakerman Titan. We were left wondering, where did G-Man fly to? At the time, we said that G-Man most likely went to the Skibidi base because he realized that he would be hunted. As we saw, the Titan healed by Speakerman almost immediately went in pursuit. There's a logic to it. Moving on. Who were the Skibidi Wardens? I've done some logical analyses and come to the following conclusion. What if the Skibidi overlords are Skibidi from another universe who hold a higher rank in the army of Toilet Skibidi? Why do I call them Wardens? The point is that in any battle there must be leadership. Let's say we know who's fighting on the side of the Skibidi Toilets and who's helping them. Okay. Now let's assume it's their commander. One man can't command an entire army even on one front, and the war here is fought in different areas. So there's a certain structure to the army. I see it this way. There's the commander. These are, unknown to us, the deputy commanders. There's Mr. X, who is in charge of the whole technological part of this crazy war. I'll talk about him a little bit later. This is G-Man. These are our probation officers. Now a lot of things should have become clear to you. Firstly, we can see that G-Man is on the same level as the Wardens, so the Wardens surrounded G-Man and started having an educational conversation with him. What they talked about, of course, we don't know, but apparently G-Man got very angry and the warders wanted to get rid of him. But why? Isn't it logical to lose a strong fighter, even if he failed the mission? I think it's not about the wardens wanting to punish G-Man, it's about leadership. I believe that the Skibidi commander simply ordered the wardens to punish G-Man rather than kill him. You will ask the question, why did we only see the wardens in episode 60? The answer is next. The fact that, in the entire series, Skibidi Toilet is the first major failure of a serious nature. The loss of an entire Titan. Agree that it would be odd to send a group of overlords every time the rank-and-file Skibidi Toilets failed to handle- Ender sent a group of Wardens to punish G-Man, perhaps deliver an important message, but after the Wardens saw G-Man's rage, they tried to kill him. Next thing you know, boom. The aforementioned Mr. X appears, an enhanced Skibidi scientist who has reached enormous size, he saves G-Man by destroying the Wardens. After that, there was a huge wave of questions. Why did he kill the Wardens rather than help them punish G-Man? Why would the scientist want G-Man? Will there be a fight between the Titans and the scientist? All in order. But first, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new breakdowns and theories. I believe that the scientist was sent by the same commander. For what purpose? And why? Remember I said, why get rid of a strong fighter even if he made a critical mistake? It's not logical. That's the answer to our question. The overlords got out of control and decided to specifically kill G-Man when they should have just delivered an important message. The commander anticipated this outcome in advance and therefore sent a scientist to follow the guards. The guards knew this and thought that the scientist would help them if they had difficulties. Granted, we haven't seen the improved scientist in combat yet, but we can still see a clear power imbalance in this confrontation. After all, in essence, the army of Skibidi Toilets has a civil war beginning. To what it will lead, we should only guess. It turned out that the commander, on the contrary, got rid of the wardens who overestimated their authority and gave the G-Man the right message. Next, you'll be thinking why the scientist would want G-Man. And that would be the right way of thinking because it is not logical to send a scientist on whom the technological progress of the Sibidi depends, after the overlords, who are much lower in rank. I am convinced that the scientist will develop G-Man to a level where he can deal with the Speakerman Titan. The next important question is, when will there be a fight between the Titans and the scientist? The thing is that when Skibidi the scientist and G-Man found Cameraman on the roof, we learned that everything that was going on was broadcasted to the army of agents, to Speakerman Titan and Cameraman Titan, after which Cameraman Titan showed with his whole look, we are waiting for you freaks. I think that in the next episodes we will see G-Man versus Titans, and I'm sure there will be a surprise from Defuk Boom in the form of an unexpected denouement of events. Perhaps it will be a new Titan developed by a scientist, perhaps. It will be a new weapon of mass destruction. At the moment there is no worthy challenger to fight two Titans. 
Yes, at least one they can handle. Whether Skibidi has a chance in a war where real titans come out against ordinary pawns is a big question. I think the next 10 episodes will introduce us to big plot upheavals and also make us anxious, because as I said earlier, a civil war is starting, and the enemy has two real titans. No, that's not to say that Skibidi toilets don't have a plan. I think he'll be a mystery to us. By the way, maybe G-Man will be used to create titanium. I don't believe it, but what if it's true? What if we see G-Man for the last time in his pathetic form, and soon there will be a new G-Man Titan, whose strength will be many times greater than the strength of the two Titans at once? Another fun fact is that already 60 episodes have been released, and it is still unclear who will win the war. Morally speaking, yes, the toilet should be broken. But damn it, is it going to happen that easily? Oh, I can't wait to see the full epic of this crazy series. We can only wait for new plums or new episodes of the series of the universe Skibidi Toilet.